We are in Overcome Heights, Freigron Capricorn, and today we're doing a big cleanup. It just so happens to be the day of the World Cup final, Saturday, the 29th of October. And while we are cleaning up, we're also building up to the big match, cheering for our team, hoping that they will bring the cup home. It is such a big deal because for South Africa, it has always been about so much more than just rugby. It is about breaking down barriers and it is about uniting. This is a collaboration between the University of Cape Town's Science Shop Program, the National Research Foundation, Afripoor Animal Welfare, Tears Animal Rescue, the City of Cape Town, and a new local community-run initiative called the One Health Innovation Group. Um, I'm Leanne Scott from the University of Cape Town, um, and this, this project is really um, it was initiated by the One Health Innovation Group, which is a, a kind of think tank um, that was established uh, in the community of Freyhrond to try and think through some of the issues related to uh, people living um, in high density situations in close proximity with animals. Um, so this, this project is um, a collaborative project so it's funded by the National Research Foundation um, and we, we from the University of Cape Town are working closely with the NGOs who work in the area, AFRIPOR um, and TIERS, uh, as well as the community itself. Um, and for this particular uh, project, the cleanup, we are also working closely with the city of Cape Town through the councillor Mandy Marr. The situation in Overcome Heights is a complex one due to the density of the informal settlement. The city does provide containers and skips for people to put their rubbish in. And the problem is that the city doesn't provide bags. We find that providing bags, uh, people sell the bags, the bags become a commodity, which is understandable. It's a largely impoverished area where anything that can be sold becomes a, a commodity. Um, I'm committed to seeing Overcome Heights cleaned up. I'm committed to in education to get residents to, to understand not to just throw things on the floor, to use black bags, to take their rubbish to the skip, to not create dumping grounds. From the city side, we do have our expanded public works program where we employ people to clean the, the streets and the dumping spots of overcome heights from Monday to Friday. So we do have a team there. But what it's going to take is it's going to take a collaborative approach between the city, between private uh, private entities and between the residents for us to understand, you know, what are the challenges? Why are, are people dumping? And what it, what is it that we can do to prevent people from dumping and just create a culture of using bins, using black bags, taking them to the various bins and just you know really looking after the area um it's incredibly unhealthy the amount of nappies for example that we see there so we are looking at this as a hazard the city is looking at it as a hazard and i think what we need to do is uh, as the city we also need to just go and have a look and see where possibly more containers are needed it is a challenge with the the narrow lanes to actually get trucks in to put down containers and to put down skips and to get the grab trucks in to be able to clear the containers and to clear the skips. So I really do appeal to residents, I appeal to everybody to make use of black bags, to not dump, um, to help us to really clear up the streets of Overcome Heights because what we'd really like is we'd like an area where, where it's safe. We can't have children digging in piles of rubbish. It's just, it's unhygienic, it's dangerous. In line with the One Health initiative, which is an integrated and unifying approach with the aim of balancing and optimizing the health of people, animals and the ecosystem, recognizing that they are all interlinked and interdependent, we are cleaning up a targeted area because a cleaner environment leads to healthier people and healthier pets. This is a pilot project which will be further developed by the community for the community. 
Thank you, Checkers, for donating food and refreshments to the value of 5,000 Rand and to Build It for donating gloves for the cleanup as well as plastic buckets, which will be used for wet household waste as we start educating the community on how to separate waste for the purposes of recycling. Today is the beginning of what we hope will be an ongoing One Health initiative to make life cleaner, healthier and better for all. Goeiedag mevrouw, ek is blij om vir u te ontmoet. Is dit, dit maak een groot verskil dat Ellen op ons skoon maak hier so, want my plekje is maar nooit achter die vullis en so, dit het vir ons baie geaffekteer. Ek is baie blij, ek verwelkom vir u laatlik. Baie dankie hoor. Baie dankie. And as it turned out, the Boka emerged as the world's champions, reminding us, together we are stronger. <laughs>